Yo, what's up guys? My name is Alex. And what we're going to do in this video is we are going to look for some profitable betting opportunities. So we got NBA, NHL, basically every sport going on, um, except for college basketball. So we can look around, see if there's anything we like, and we can see there are some things that I like. So the first, you can see South, South Florida versus Temple. You can get under 57 5 points at minus 114 odds on Twin Spires. So if we go to this specific game, you can see most books have the total set at 55.5 or 56.5. Um, you, so you are essentially getting an additional two points in the total on Twin Spires. It's an arb to pinnacle. It's an arb to DraftKings. So you know that there's a good side. Um, and, you know, literally the entire sports betting market is telling you, yeah, under 57.5 minus 114 is a good bet because the total really should be, you know, somewhere between 55.5 and 56.5, right? You know that when arbitrage exists, um, there has to be a profitable betting opportunity. So we can go here. Uh, we can go to college football. We'll try to move quick before the line moves. And this was South Florida versus Temple. And then you can see under 57.5 is minus 114 odds. So we'll place this bet. It's an ARB to Pinnacle, the sharpest sports book in the world. And it's also an ARB to DraftKings. So let's see South Florida. You can also see the under 57 points is, you know, Pinnacle has it minus 132. You can grab minus 108, which is an ARB to Pinnacle on Twin Spires. That's another bet that we like. So we'll place the under 57. So we have two now positive expected value, profitable college football bets placed for this upcoming weekend. You can see I'm uh, limited on Twin Spires. They don't give me much of any action. It just is how it is when you're a profitable sports better. Limits are something you will encounter on sports books. Um, you know, they'll take less action from you. That's how sports books work. To losing betters, they allow you to bet bigger and bigger. Um, someone who's very unprofitable could probably bet thousands and thousands of dollars on this on Twin Spires. Profitable bettors, once the sports books realize you're profitable, they ratchet those limits lower and lower and lower. Um, and that's one of the reasons, you know, you need multiple sports book accounts is, you know, you need to be on as many books as possible because first of all, you never know when good betting opportunities are going to be on a specific sports book. Like in this South Florida versus Temple game, if I didn't have Twin Spires, I couldn't have placed this bet, right? If I didn't, have, if I don't have Caesars, I can't place this bet on Caesars. Um, Capitals minus one puck line plus two hundred. So, as a sports better, get as many sports books as possible in your location: DraftKings, FanDuel, Twin Spires, Caesars, MGM, whatever, whatever. Um, so we have two profitable college football bets placed. Lines are always moving, so try to refresh, keep it updated, and we can go here. I don't bet player props, so skip, skip, skip. I can actually filter them out in my settings. So I'll filter out player props. We can go back to the arbitrage page. And you can see, like, there's some value on the capitals. I don't, I, I'm in Arizona right now, but I haven't created a Caesars account here yet. So that's something I should do. Um, but we can see, okay, so we bet this, we bet this. You can add it to your bet tracker by hitting this little plus button. So, like, under 57 is we bet 56.39. That's what Twin Spires limited me to. So it's an arb to pinnacle. We can add that to our bet tracker. It'll track our CLV. We can track our profit and loss, all that sort of thing. And then you can see Virginia Tech Syracuse. Um, here's another good line. Virginia Tech minus 2.5. They obviously had a rough loss against Notre Dame recently, but Notre Dame looks really good and you know they're competing with them. So you can see, you know, there's clearly some value on this minus 125 Virginia Tech point spread minus 2.5. DraftKings has it minus 145. Uh, Pinnacles all the way down to minus 155. So lines are um, moving towards Virginia Tech. So we can try to find this specific game. So Virginia Tech, and we want to get minus 2.5, minus 125. Again, arb to pinnacle value. One of these bets has to be good. Syracuse plus 2.5, um, plus 127, or Twin Spires minus, um, or Virginia Tech minus 2.5 on Twin Spires minus 125 odds. You can't have arbitrage exist in any financial market, right? Um, and have neither bet be profitable. So they give me more action on this. They actually give me 327.79. So that's pretty cool. 
can add this to my bet tracker, click on the odd, 327, um, 79. So this is useful because you can, you know, obviously you can see your CLV, you can track your bets. Um, you can see, you know, the current Novig pinnacle line, a bunch of things like that, analytics that kind of let you know how your bets are performing, if you're beating the market, not beating the market, all that sort of stuff. And we can look around, you can see minus two, also an ARB, right? Also an ARB to pinnacle. DraftKings has minus two, minus 150. Um, pinnacle has it minus 164, and we can grab minus 132 on Twin Spires. So that's about all also place. Let's see how much they give me, 345. So we now have two profitable bets placed. We're on Virginia Tech pretty big. So now we have Virginia Tech minus 2.5, Virginia Tech minus two. So that's pretty cool. And you can kind of like, you know, you can go through more and figure out what you want to bet or not. Um, but I think we'll hold off and we'll kind of leave it there. So we can go back, see if we missed anything else. So we bet that, we bet this. We bet this. I like all three of these. Um, and then Notre Dame versus USC. So we can go here. Uh, what was it? It was in the total points market. So under 57.5 points, you can get plus 107 odds on Twin Spires. So we'll go here. We'll go to total points. Under 57.5, you can get at plus 107 odds. Um, that's an ARB to bet online. And it looks pretty good to basically every market, right? Most sports books have over under 57.5, roughly 50-50. It looks kind of like a coin flip. Pinnacle is minus 111, minus 109. So if we want to kind of get our estimation of fair win probability for this bet, you know, fair odds should be roughly plus 100, plus 101, and we're getting plus 107. So we're beating fair odds. That's why, you know, this bet would be profitable. So if we just type in Notre Dame. You can see, okay, yeah, under 57.5 is 3.05% edge to the zero VIG um, line from Pinnacle once you remove the juice. So we can go to college football. We can look for the Notre Dame game. Notre Dame. And then we can go to under 57.5. That we're getting plus 107. Boom. Place this bet. We'll see how much they give me. And they give me 163.38 the most random sports betting limits out there um, appear to be on Twin Spires with regards to how much they let you bet, but it is what it is. So we can see if there's any other, you know, under 58 points, you can get plus 100. So we can click on this. We can see if there's any other good bets, right? Like DraftKings has this minus 120. Pinnacle has it minus 116. We're getting plus 100. WinBet has it roughly, you know, minus 110, minus 110. So this plus 100 on the under seems, uh, on the under 58 also seems pretty good. So we can place that bet as well. Boom. And, you know, now we have kind of a few different college football bets placed. We can see if there's anything else that we like. You know, this plus 112, probably some value there, but, you know, we already bet the 57.5 and the 58, so we'll kind of skip over it. Um, see if there's anything else. Not really. So, you know, pretty exciting. We now have a few college football bets placed. You know, we bet the Temple versus South Florida total, the Virginia Tech point spread, and then the unders in the USC Notre Dame game. So, you know, we have three uncorrelated, mathematically profitable bets. So feeling pretty good about that. Some random bets from yesterday. And yeah, so 